What the? What's going on in Waco, Texas? What's, I'm getting people tweeting me. I'm getting email messages. What's going on in Waco, Texas? We got nine people dead, 18 injured, and 200 people arrested. This I got to see. Police in Waco, Texas say the nine people killed in a shootout on Sunday were all members of rival biker gangs. The shooting began just after noon in the Twin Peaks restaurant, part of a busy shopping center that draws a large lunchtime crowd. So I crawled back towards the uh, freezers with a lot of the waitresses and some other people who were there. It was really, really scary. We didn't know somebody was going to come back. They said people outside the doors had guns. <laughs> it was scary. Police say up to 200 members of five rival gangs had gathered at the restaurant for a meeting to discuss turf and recruitment. The preliminary investigation found the fight started in a bathroom and spilled all the way out to the parking lot. 18 people were taken to hospitals with injuries, many with stab and gunshot wounds. There were bodies still there. It was a very gruesome, very violent crime scene. You could tell that there were numerous rounds exchanged. Uh, I saw everything from pistol casings to rifle casings. Uh, I saw knives. I saw a club. When uh, I dismissed class, a couple of my students go, hey, weren't you going over to the Twin Peaks? I'm like, yeah. You don't want to go? I go, why? Bunch of dead bodies and a bunch of people being arrested. I'm like, Okay. Authorities were aware of the meeting in advance and had some officers stationed outside the restaurant. Police say some officers shot armed bikers, but it's unclear if the officers killed anyone. Sandy Kozell, the Associated Press. This is appalling. I am appalled by the violence that's on display in this Waco, Texas. The disintegration of the family structure. The seepage of family values is apparent here. I blame single moms in the white community. I blame absentee fathers in the white community. I blame rap music in the rap in the white community. They're listening to Chinks and the Coke Boys. That's what it was. It's broken down the homogenous milk-like substance of the white community that keeps them together. Do you realize more people died yesterday in Waco, Texas, than Ferguson and Baltimore combined? I bet you won't hear Don Lemon or Bill O'Reilly say that today. Nope, won't be talking about that. Biker gangs have been in existence in America at least since the 40s. That's longer than the Bloods and the Crips. Much longer. In fact, there are over hundreds, over hundreds of biker gangs. Ten of them are only ten of them on the De Department of Justice threat list as a serious threat. But at least three of them were on display here in Waco, Texas. You should be upset about it. Do you realize that 87% of white people are killed by white people? Didn't know that, did you? Why don't white crime is rampant in America? So many more people to kill each other. We need to do something about this white on white crime. Waco, Texas is a display. It's an obvious example that we're not doing enough to... to to raise these grown-ass, middle-aged white men, and they're being influenced by the likes of Nicki Minaj, Drake, Bobby Schmurder, and Chief Keef. That's what's doing it. And twerking, twerking has gotta be what's doing it. Making them act this way, so violent and can't get along, shooting each other. And I know what some people are thinking, they would tell me, well, you know what, these bikers didn't burn down the restaurant. And that's really what the difference is. Really? So you can kill each other. Fine. No problem. Kill each other. Fill up our justice system. Fine. Because people make money off that. Kill each other. That's fine. But if you burn a CVS, oh my God. That's when the man sends in the National Guard. Well, these guys obviously went peacefully, Tim. 
We don't know that, do we? We need some footage to what happened on the ground there in Waco, Texas. Somebody link me up to some footage to what happened on in the ground, on the ground in Waco. I don't believe it. I don't believe all those good old boys just said, fuck it, let's go get in these cop cars and call it a day. No one ran. No one. All right. I'm Tim Black, man. We need to start mentoring some older white guys. You see a guy with a patch on his back, don't just discount him as a thug. He needs you to talk to him, reach out to him. Put him under your wing. Mentor him. He could be going through a rough time. 